Hello everyone and welcome back to my custom 164 farm toy series. So if you saw the episode about the hauler, uh, you'll know that I had to narrow up my pulling tractor. And if you haven't seen that episode, you may want to go check that out first. But uh, I had to narrow up the pulling tractor so that it would fit in the hauler. And uh, to be totally honest with you, it was a little bit too wide before anyways for uh, what the pulling tractor or what a pulling tractor would actually be. Uh, normally they bring them in as tight as they can like this. And uh, so it's a lot more realistic now. And uh, the only thing I'm going to have to try and do is it's going to be tough to squeeze the fenders in there. And so I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, get the fenders on there and still have the roll cage on it and make it all look nice. Um, but uh, that's the next step, I guess. Uh, I'd really, really like to be able to get the fenders back on. I think it just it doesn't look right without them. And uh, even if all I do is take the very top part of the fender and just attach it to the roll cage so that uh, it's the top part of the fender is there. But I'd uh, really like to get the whole fender back on. But we'll see what happens. It's uh, really important to me that it fits in the hauler because I don't want to be able to just display it with the hauler. I want it to actually make sense. And uh, so... You know, it was a lot easier to narrow the tractor than it would have been to widen the hauler. And uh, so that was the route I took, and hopefully it's the right one. And like I said, um, you know, this one I've got the Fear the Deer sticker on it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't find that same sticker in a larger size to put on the hauler. And uh, a few things like that. But narrowing it up was pretty easy. I just popped the fenders off, and then I just cut into the casting some more on either side. And... Uh, yeah, so it's fairly simple. And then, like I said, the most complicated part is just going to be getting the fenders back on. But I got all my little parts in a bag here so that I don't lose them. But as you can see, before the fender used to go around the axle, and I'm going to have to cut that bottom part off, and it'll just set on top of where the axle is instead if it fits in there at all. So what I might do is I might get the fenders glued in place and then see if I can't just shove the roll cage down in there. And it may, it may hit, rub against the tires too much to keep the tires from spinning, but like I've said in some of my other videos, my toys aren't to be played with, they're to be displayed, and so if the tires don't spin, that's not that huge of a deal to me. But, uh, yeah, so I'll hopefully have an update on this. I'll be gone this this whole week, uh, but hopefully I'll have an update on this for you guys soon with the finished product, and then I can show you a little bit more about how well it fits in the hauler. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and check back for more.